Well, I think what I see so much in fishing with young guys, college, high school, guys getting started in the sport, is they go out and spend a day on the water. It's hot, it's nasty, and they don't catch any fish. And, and it, naturally, you want to start getting down. You want to start that, that, oh my God, what am I doing wrong? I'm no good at this. Let me tell you something. I know, I know right now the light's not right and this is probably not great video time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a second and address something. Whether you're 18 or 80, if you're getting into the sport of bass fishing and you go out on a body of water and you, work, you do the process, you do your homework and you fail, it makes you better. Don't, don't, don't come in and judge yourself or think, hey, I'm just gonna call my buddy down there and get some waypoints. Cause see, you're shortcutting the curve. When you shortcut the curve, you shortcut the experience of learning, which is what you need three weeks from now when you're gonna go fish that tournament. That you need to have that experience of, hey, I struggled last Saturday. I went back and made this adjustment and I caught them. I say all that to say this, practice without success should breed stronger confidence. And most of the time it breaks people. A lot of my elite series practices are horrible. But yet on tournament day, I put the trolling motor down and fight my way back to get a check. I find something to do. I only do that because the process of failing pushed me to try something new. So look at a day of practice where you didn't catch them tells you a whole lot of what not to do. And that's kind of what I see in the sport today. Take that home with you. I mean, think about that. So you spent 12 hours flipping and throwing a frog and didn't catch any. Don't flip and throw a frog tomorrow. It's just that simple. And that's my success story on how practice can suck.